Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has started rolling out the early stable release of Chrome version 129, which will be our next release rolling out to the general public next week. Now, if you do view the channel, you will know by now that the early stable is only made available a week or so before um, general availability to a limited subset of users where basically the browser is tested for last minute bugs and so on before it's rolled out to the general public. Now, because Google rolled it out late yesterday in my region on the 11th of September, I would suggest that version 129 will um, roll out to all starting either next week Tuesday or next week Wednesday. And while we are talking about version upgrades, we are also expecting Brave to roll out the next version upgrade next week. Uh, we are also expecting Edge. Firefox has already rolled out. We are only expecting the next version upgrade of Firefox early September. But nonetheless, um, Chrome, Edge and Brave will make their um, upgrade to version 129 of the Chromium platform all starting next week. Now with that all out of the way, um, obviously with version 129, because it hasn't rolled out yet uh, in my region, I've just taken one or two highlights from the Chrome platform status and like all version upgrades, we can expect to see security updates rolling out for that week. And most of the changes, once again, with version 129, according to the Chrome platform status, are taking place under the hood for developers, but I've pulled one or two that I thought you may be interested in. Now, a new feature that's going to be made available to users in the US only at first with version 129 um, is called Tab Compare, which is a feature that presents an AR-generated overview of products from across multiple tabs all in one place, according to Google. So if you do a lot of online shopping, if that's your thing, then AR with a setting, um, AR can then generate a summary of different sites you are visiting. As an example, here you can see for portable speakers, just listed as an example, and it gives you a comparison um, an overview of products from across those multiple sites, which if that's your thing, that may be a nice move in the right direction. But just take note that's only rolling out to uh, users in the US at first. And then there's a ask before HTTP, which according to Google, the setting tells Chrome to ask for user consent before sending insecure HTTP content. And this is a bit of a security improvement, which I think is a, is a step in the right direction, because in case you're unaware, um, HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and HTTPS, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, and um, both of those are, are protocols that transfer data between a web browser and a website, but HTTPS is more secure than HTTP. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but that's more or less what that is all about. So I think that setting that tells Chrome to ask you for user consent before sending insecure content, I think, is a nice move. And then just one more to mention um, for the purpose of this video. They've improved the performance of the network track in the dev tools. So basically, this will make it easier for devs to diagnose performance issues. So I think that's, although that's not really of interest to your average home user, I think that's a nice move because if the devs can um, diagnose performance issues before it rolls out to the stable or to the general public, I think um, that would help the performance side of things in the browser. But um, as mentioned, that's just a couple of highlights. So not too many front-facing features. But something I have been mentioning now for basically the last couple of releases of Google Chrome is a feature I'm really enjoying in preview in Chrome Canary is the new toolbar icons. And I certainly hope we see some of these toggles start making their way into the customized Chrome appearance section in the site panel where you can enable all the different components and disable them basically to your own personal choice and preference. And um, I don't see why um, they won't make their way to stable, but I hope we do get a couple more of those because already we can pin, as an example, reading mode um, to the toolbar. So I think it's just a matter of time before we start seeing more of those. So guys, that's just a brief kind of guesstimate on my part as to some things going on in next week's release with Google Chrome version 129. And when that stable rolls out, I'll obviously post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.